Hey guys, this is Kev Chat number four. We're going into our third week on this um, lockdown no swimming period. And before I do anything else, I'd like to say a few thank yous to um, various people. Firstly, to the swimmers and parents who are staying really engaged and supportive of the program. Um, thank you so much. It means a lot to all of the coaching staff. And I'm sure that those of you which are engaging, um, you're all finding that actually it's helping you to maintain some sort of routine um, through your week, um, to maintain some sort of physical exercise routine as well, as well as like the engagement with the people that you have spent a lot of time with, coaches and other swimmers, etc. Um, I also want to say thanks to the, the coaching team themselves. We've obviously having to um, find new ways to stay in touch, reach out, keep you guys active, keep you uh, part of our club. And so far, things have gone really well, in my opinion. Um, we've obviously started to make changes for these next coming weeks and our schedules are starting to adapt and evolve. But um, thank you to those guys and thank you to the, the guys outside of our full-time coaching team that are coming back on board and, and getting involved in, in activities in relation to their own squads, which they've either assisted with or, or obviously have led during this time uh, before this all happened. So thanks to those guys because it means a lot to me and it obviously will mean a lot to the swimmers as they start to get more engaged. A few other thank yous as well. Thank you to the committee for um, supporting the coaches and supporting um, the club in general. It's a really real testing time for everyone. But as we keep coming back to, uh, we'll all get through this and we'll come out the other end a bigger, stronger, um, more supportive club. Um, so really, looking into this next week ahead, I know certainly from looking at like the squads which I oversee more on a day-to-day -day basis, um, we've started to reflect and, and go, how can we progress things now? How can we move things forward? And this will actually apply with all squads in the club and any club or squad you're in in the country. The crucial thing right now is to focus on frequency. Frequency being the, the number of times that you used to participate and train in swimming or land activities. So for a swimmer in my group, you could be used to swimming eight, nine, ten times a week um, with potentially two, three, four, five land opportunities available to you. So right there, there's potentially 15 times at which you've engaged in exercise during the week at certain points in the week. Others of you that might be a master's might have three regular mornings, for example, or two regular mornings in an evening. Or if you're in the academy, two or three sessions a week, Tuesday, Saturday, maybe a Sunday as well. And that will be different for all the squads in the club. So what's going to be really important now is your bodies have been used to exercising and having routine on, on those particular days in the week. And so moving forward now, the coaching team are looking at what we've done and how we can actually move that forward. So we're starting to add in more frequency back to where you were. Obviously, we've had two weeks of, of trying to find out where we are, everyone trying to find their own routine, wherever possible, trying to have a similar sort of frequency to what we experienced in the pool. But now is really the time we're going to start pushing towards trying to get back to um, almost identical frequency. So... Um, you know, double sessions on Monday, double sessions on Tuesday for my guys, etc. Maybe a, a slight lane on Wednesday morning. But, you know, I was talking to some of my swimmers earlier and we've had like seven o'clock Zoom meetings of exercise and seven o'clock's proving quite a, a tiring thing to get up to. Um, but actually, you know, how are you managing the rest of your day? Because you, you used to maybe go to sleep at 9 p.m., 9.30 p.m. Well, now some of you are starting to go to bed at 10, 30, 11, 12, 1 on a regular basis. That's not really keeping with your normal routine, particularly when you're starting to find more loading in terms of exercise coming on board and, and increase that frequency. Now coming on to the, the loading and the, the volume in swimming, it's really easy to work out how much you're doing because you can very quickly add up the meters you've done, 4K session, 5, 6, 7, 10K sessions, etc. Um, and you can... Um, track your loading quite easily and through the energy systems we work on you can obviously track and determine how hard each session's been relative to your ability and to what squad you're in. Now moving forward all of you have very different um, land abilities so what's going to be really important now is how can we increase 
your intensity, increase your recovery time um, through the next weeks coming forward. So what we don't want to see is you going for five very hard runs in the week um, because your infrastructure as swimmers um, is incredible. You've got great swimming infrastructure. You've got great strong heart, lungs, cardiovascular system, uh, the feel of the water and the, the capillaries that join up to create those strokes and stuff. That They're all fantastic for you as athletes, but for swimming. For those of you which are starting to run or bike for the first time in years or maybe um, more than you've ever done before, what's the real important thing to stay focused on now is progressively build that up because your ligaments and your joints are not used to that type of exercise um, that those movement patterns so we've got to start building that infrastructure uh, and not suddenly just hurl yourself into um, overdoing land work and overdoing um, uh, other land exercises circuits um, hit exercises etc so really stay focused now on the frequency so doing more exercise more often at the times you normally would whether that's 30 minutes 40 minutes 45 minutes that's fine just stick to the frequency and then once you've got your frequency so for example i would swim six times a week as anybody let's just pick somebody um would swim six times a week well do your six forms of exercise in the week could be six lots of 30 set 30 minutes and then the following week you then build that up into a longer duration each time or you can start increasing intensity reducing loading at other points you can potentially add in an extra session just to try and spread that out a bit more but remember you can only go outside once a week at the moment for your daily exercise so use that wisely you can potentially use that for some recovery if required it doesn't have to be full-on um, pelting it down the road running or, or biking and make sure you do stay at home and listen to the guidance uh, and above all support our NHS and save lives. So take care everyone and I will speak to you all next week. Thank you. Bye now.